I just lied in bed and I heard pounding. I thought it was a joke. Then I heard all the, the people yelling, you know. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be fun. Do you not understand my instructions? I just heard pounding, pounding, and then I heard yelling. And I was like, oh, shoot, what's, on? what's going on? What's going on? I threw off my blanket. I ran outside. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Let's go! Shut up, Jack! Seeing people in uniforms, seeing people in hats just yelling at us. Hurry up! Hurry up! I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Sneaky guy, that Norm Chow. On day three of his U.S. football team's fall camp at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, coach had Air Force and Navy drill instructors wake his team up just after 5 o'clock this morning, and then they worked the Warriors. Are you motivated? Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. This is what we do all day. <laughs> Practice wasn't until this afternoon, this morning, military training, another team bonding experience. Got him up this morning, military style, basic training style. Got him up, got him motivated, got him fired up. We're getting him ready to start a brand new season. So we want to start off right, give him a little bit of this, uh, the military. There's so many similarities in what the military does, the discipline that's involved, the uh, teamwork that's involved. Uh, the relying on others that, that, that so many life's lessons can be learned, football lessons can be learned. Now, Warriors taken to task for just over an hour, ending at the Pack Aft building, which still shows bullet holes and scuff marks from Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor over 70 years ago. They defended this ground December 7, 1941, and we still stand here today. <laughs> Now, as a thank you, Warriors delivered an emotional haka for their drill instructors. <laughs> 